Are you becoming a Linux Pro user? Have you started using aliases yet? Well, if you haven't already made some aliases on your system of commonly used commands, save some time by using this method. Let's start up a terminal and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Aliases are fairly simple to understand. In Linux, they're just a way to condense commands and basically name them whatever you want. So if you have a chain of commands that you want to condense into something smaller that you can also use in a terminal, you can do it this way. Let me show you an example. Of course, you can run this on any Linux distribution that you want, as long as you're using the bash shell. So by default, Ubuntu here actually has some aliases predefined for us. So in order to figure out those aliases, we can write out alias dash P, and that will actually give us some of those aliases. So whenever you run something like L, that's actually running this command, ls space dash capital CF. Or if you do LA, it's actually running LS space dash capital A. So we can actually prove this by just doing like, uh, let's see, LS space dash capital A. We got this here. So if I just do LA instead, look at that same exact output. So LA is an alias. That's all you have to know about that. Are you new and stopping by today? Make sure to smash that like button for me. It really does help. A really good example of uh, one command that I like using a lot is PS space AX space pipe and grep. And then I put something behind this. So like bash, for example. So this gives me a list of all processes on the system and it actually greps or finds a pattern for a specific pattern and the pattern is bash. So what it returns to me is the process ID of the current bash running shell. You can of course use this with any command. So think of something that's complicated that you use quite a lot on your systems and then apply the same method. So in order to make an alias for this, here, what I can do is type alias. I'm just going to call it pro, short for process and professionals as we're becoming professionals using Linux. And now I'll put an equal sign, a single quote and type in my command. So every time I run pro now, this is the actual command ran. The reason why I didn't put bash at the end, you want to be able to fill this last part in with whatever you're actually looking for in the process list. And now I can press enter. And if I do alias dash P again, I'll make sure that it was added in. And look at that, at the bottom of the list, we have pro equals PSAX pipe grep. Okay, so now can I use the alias? So instead of writing out that whole mess, I just write pro and then I look for something. Well, we looked for bash last time and look at that, bash is returned, same process ID, everything works great. Again, you can use this with any command that you want. And you might wanna learn more tips and tricks about Linux, so make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell, and let's talk about using this some more. So for example, if I did PSAX, I'm gonna list out a bunch of things that are actually running on my system. If I look through here, let's actually look for something else that we could reference. For example, splash. So that's the one that actually is running at PID one. So what happens if I do pro splash this time? We would expect process ID one to be spit out and that sbin init splash. Notice, again, this makes things so much easier. You can do this with anything. So this, process here is great for temporary commands. The way we just applied an alias will not apply it permanently. You'll have to go one step further and edit the init file that runs for bash. And for bash, that's the bash RC file located in the home users directory. So we're currently there. If I do PWD, we'll notice we're in home staffing Nick. It's going to be home your username. So I'm going to use nano in order to open up that file. Since I'm in the home users directory, I can do nano space bash RC. If I press enter, I can look through here and I'm going to search for this section, which is some more aliases here in Ubuntu. It might be different for yours, but I can add my new alias line in here. So alias space pro, I'm going to set that equal again to my PSAX and grep followed by a single end quote. And now I have that all ready. Control X to save a nano. Yes, I want to save the modified buffer and then I press enter. So in order to update the shell, we need to do source.bashrc. So it recognizes my command that I just put in there, but let's take it one step further. Let me just add another one while I'm at it. So I'll go back into the bashrc file. I'll go down until I find the section that has the aliases, and I'm gonna add a couple more aliases here, just to demonstrate a few more things. So here I'll put an alias, and one other one I use is, I'm just gonna do hist, and for hist, that's going to be history, pipe to grep. That's when I'm looking back through my command history and I want to find a specific command I ran. I run that a lot and I'm just going to call it hist for now. Another one that I like using a lot is update. So I'm just going to call it up 
and that one is going to be sudo apt update. All right, that's enough for now. Put yours in. It doesn't have to be the ones I'm using. They're just ones I like to shorten up. After saving things, let's run source.bashrc once more. And now let's list those aliases like we've learned. And notice here, we do have the aliases that we just added on the list. So if I do up, look at that, it's asking me for a password, put my password in, and it's updating the repos by just simply typing in up. How fantastic. And then the last example, if we just do hist, since I made that an alias, I can also search for alias commands that I've ran in the past. And look at that. I've listed it a few times. I've actually aliased the pro temporarily and ran it a few more times. Fantastic. That one's working too. And that's really it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.